Hello viewers, I'm Chris, Secure Future Vlog. This is my channel. In this channel, I share news content and talk realities out of issues. Some researchers found some chemicals like hydrogen peroxide, antibiotics, which they use to preserve fish. And because they, they, they wear this fish in a small vacuum, which attract them to disease and lives in the body of the fish. Also, parasites are found in this fish because 90% or 70% of the fish we consume come from artificial farm. I will advise everybody to use ginger, garlic, and lime to boil the meat you consume and fish. Let's watch the video to details to this news. I'm Chris, Secure Future Village. Kindly follow my page and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chris Secure Future, as I have seen on the screen. Thank you, my people, and remain blessed. Norway produces more farmed salmon and cod than any other country in the world. About 70% of the fish we eat today now comes from artificial fish farms. What? As thousands of fish are kept close together in very small sea cages, disease and lice spread easily and have become a massive problem. Oh my the God. As a result, pesticides, <gasps> disinfectants and antibiotics are used extensively to keep the fish alive long enough to go to market. Dear In order God. to rid the fish of lice, special pumping boats are used which suck the fish up in a giant water vacuum. The fish are then pumped through the system, and as they flow through, they are either heated to a high temperature or bathed in a chemical solution which removes most of the lice before being pumped back into the cage. No. The fish are bathed in chemicals such as hydrogen peroxide and azimethophos to kill the parasites and diseases, and given feed with chemicals such as teflobenzeron, emamectin and diflubenzeron no way which, by their very nature are toxic corrosive researchers have found that traces of chemicals can end up in the fish and ultimately on our plates just is much the same for farmed fish all around the world on how u.s food regulations have left american consumers exposed to chemicals and additives that have been banned in other countries Potassium bromate is a suspected carcinogen that's banned for human consumption in Europe as well as China and India, but legal in the US, where it's used by some food makers to strengthen dough and estimated to be present in over a hundred products. There is evidence that it uh, may be toxic to human consumers, that it may even either initiate or promote the development of tumours. Professor Eric Millstone is an expert on food additives and told us European countries take a much more cautious approach to food safety. Can we say for sure that these differences in regulations mean that people in the US have developed cancers that they would not have developed if they'd been eating only in Europe? I think that that is almost certainly the conclusion that we could reach. It's not just potassium bromate, but many other chemicals and substances that are banned here in Europe over health concerns, but considered safe by the FDA. Do you think most Americans are aware that they're being exposed to substances that are viewed as dangerous over here? They probably just think, well, if it's available and it's in the store, then it's probably fine. Is food safety a part of that decision? For sure, yeah. How am I going to protect my children when it's just everywhere? This college student was shocked to find parasites in the wild salmon she bought from Whole Foods. But did you know? British Columbia Center for Disease Control found that 75% of wild salmon is infected with parasites. In farms, the numbers are even higher, which is why they use huge amounts of antibiotics. But people keep eating these worms. Farm salmon is gray, not pink. Wild salmons are pink because they feed on crustaceans like shrimp. Farmers feed them artificial colorants, sometimes toxic, to make them look orange. According to the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission, plastic waste is 80% of all marine pollution.